Yo, 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 what up, my fellow cloners? I come here to show you the long-awaited Kashyyyk Mach. I'm excited to show you this, and I hope you guys are as excited as I am, as excited as I am to show you guys this. It took me a year to build because of procrastination and a bunch of schoolwork, but it's finally done. There are a few flaws with it I wish I could fix, but I'm going to leave that up to my next Mach. So, I'd like to apologize for two things first. One, if you hear any noises in the background. It's my guinea pig, and I'm sorry for that. Things annoying. And I do apologize for bad lighting. I have to film this in my living room and not my room, because if I filmed in my room, then I would be on the floor. That'd be uncomfortable, because I don't have a table that's big enough to fit this. So that's why it's in the living room. Okay, so now we got that out of the way. I'll say a few facts as I uh, walk around. There's 11 B1 battle droids, 8 B2 super battle droids, Two Droidicus, one Tradotion Jedi, one Medroid, six Wookiees, one Mechanic, Elmer Akbar, Commander Gree, three Astromech Droids, and 34 41st Elite Corps. Now, I think that's a little too much for a base that's only two great base plates, but as you guys know, I love 41st Elite. It's my favorite clone trooper Italian like company. It's not really a company, but... You guys get what I'm saying. Alright, so let's uh, talk about why I chose this and why it's like this. So it's on this plateau. It's like, that's terrible lighting. It's on this plateau type thing here. Because this is an outpost, not the official supply base. The supply base is about 5-6 kilometers that way, or 7-8 miles. Uh, and there's about 12 that circle the base. It's kind of like a checkpoint, if you like to say. I actually do have this picture right here to show you where I have it located. And this is an official Kashyyyk picture. So it's in there. Let's say it's in there. All right, now let's get into some of the detail here. I'll start off with the droid side. So here we have this river that runs down. And the river is going this way. It flows that way. So we have this droidica that is marching in. It, one of these clones or Wookiees shot the super battle droid here, and the droidica is just stepping on it. I do have this sand patch here because it's getting close to the. It's getting close to like this beach, as you see there. Sorry, that was my phone. Um, as you see, I have three different types of trees, which I'll go over later. There, there, and a small one. But here we have a stamp with a droid pilot on it, it's coming to attack the main base. And then we have a bunch of just dead clones, and, and not dead clones, dead droids and malfunctioning, and I had this ant piece right there that I wanted to throw in, because I'm guessing there's some type of insects on Kashyyyk. I mean, there is, I've done some research, but I don't know them off the top of the, my head. Here we have a droidica that's died because of this clone trip right here holding a heavy blaster. Now, as you guys know, I absolutely hate those new blasters. I don't even know why LEGO made them. But I decided I'm going to put this to good use and make it look like a rotary gun that heavy carries. So here is the droid commander telling the fleet of droids here, not fleet, the battalion of droids here to attack. Now behind here, for what you can't see, that's why I'll go over it when I show you that. But this is just like the front wave. There's a bunch of others and like droid. It's a full frontal attack. Assault. Full frontal assault. Assault. So here we just have uh, random grass pieces and you see like dirt and grass. Got some lighter patches of grass over here and all that. So here I put another one of those stud shooter. Come on, focus. There we go. Stud shooter is to good use as a stationary, I don't know what you would call that, stationary minigun with this 41st main 
manding it. Here's the random Jedi. That's Trandoshan. He has a yellow and pink lightsaber. One's a gold tilt, one's a white. And it's just made out of miscellaneous parts from different sets. Different minifigs. So this is... I'll go into the rock work here. This is my first attempt at rock work, and I think I did an okay job. I know I could have done better, but my next mock won't have des uh, won't have rocks on it. But the mo big mock I want to do after my next big mock, I want there's gonna be a lot of rock work, and I hope it turns out perfectly fine. So over here we have this Wookie like barrack with. Yoda here, because I think Yoda comes from Kashyyyk. He, I won't get into that right now. My phone needs to shut up. Anyway, I got this inspiration from the Battle of Kashyyyk from Episode 3, where the bunch of Wookiees are, wind, Wookiees are lined up and going to attack. So I have, like, Chewbacca and a bunch of other older Wookiees. So I have that there in the back left-hand corner. Here, this is probably my favorite side onto the two base plates. I have, if I lift up the ISP speeder, you see that there's this like mud track for where the speeders uh, fly, hover over, and it's left a bunch of dirt. I think that turned out better than I was expected, but it still turned out, I think, a little, I was a little disappointed. But we'll get to that right now. So here we have a, chi a tree. A tree. They had to chop down in order to get the base here. Uh, as you see, this is one of the trees I was talking about. There's different species of trees in this mock. So there's this one. And then there's this one right here. With a bunch of clone troopers sniping behind it. There's this rock structure here with another, that's a terrible heading, with another 41st Elite hiding behind it. And then there's the continuation of the rock work. All right, now let's get on to the base itself. This base, I have this little catwalk that goes around it with this, uh, like, handrail, handguard. It's basically connected with some... One by two with bars and one by two with two clips connected to it. And then I have just a few designs here to make it look nice. So I have this going all the way around. I have a 41st Elite here. I have this one using a rocket launcher, which is going to try to take out this uh, section of B2 Super Battle Droids. And then we have this clone, which is dead. He's flying. Well, he's not flying. He's just laying over the side because he got shot. And we got this one right here marching into battle, running off to the catwalk. Now here off to the side, I decided that I'm going to put some greebling features here. So this is just a, I think a, I don't even know right now. And you're not even looking at it. There we go. There's a ladder here to get onto the roof, which I'll go over in a second. And if we go to the other side, no, actually let's go right here. I use these stickers from the 2012 Escape Pod. Focus. 2012 Escape Pod set with R2D2 and C3PO. And then, yet again, I just greebled a bit, found some tiles with stickers on them, and put them to good use. I had to add that because this is Republic Outpost, so why not add it? Over here is the door to get in and a bunch of vents. So there's the vents, there's some piping. Here is like the handprint, like, oh, you have to type this to get in. And this is a, like a scanner. The door here does open up and leads into the bay. It doesn't open up all the way because of the handrail here. But there's that. I would have tiled here, but I didn't have enough tiles to do that. So I ordered some online and they still haven't come yet. So on the roof, here, this is a fun story. Here, there's a bunch of holes because industrial roofs are built with like a grid inside and there's just panels flipped over, I mean, uh, put on top. So basically what happened here is the panels that are on the top and the bottom got ripped off because it was in the middle of the battle and it's, an ex and it's exposing the grid. 
So I thought that was a cool feature. This is all built doing snot. Do you see no studs on studs not on top? Here we have the local and planetary satellite, and here we have the galactic satellite. Here is my favorite part about the roof. It's my anti-air cannon. I got inspiration off of Solid Brick Studios. It can go a full 360 and 180. Let you guys take a look at this mechanism. This is the computer, the tracking computer, and then it's here's the man section. Very fun. I think this took me four hours to build. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the roof off, and we're going to get explore the inside. So here's the roof. It's, like I said, it's snot, but I took it off so we can explore the inside here. So this here is a med bay. I currently have a clone trooper in it because he got shot. So I'm going to start with the details back here and work our way back. So here we have a head helmet stand and like a refrigerator where they keep the cold medicine, like blood packs and all of that. Over here we got a few computers showing like heart rate monitor and all of that. I got that over here as well. I have some lights here so if they need to do surgery. Let me get this wall out of the way. So if the medical drone needs to do surgery, he can turn on these lights. This does spin 360 and it does move up and down, but I don't know why I showed you guys that with my hand. But currently, the medical droid is resting on him because he can't stand. So I'm not going to move that. This crate here, I'm actually very excited about this crate. They're just a bunch of jumper plates put together. I wasn't even showing you guys. So that's that. You know, put that back in the corner. Okay. On to here, which is like my absolute favorite section. So up here we have a bunch of computers telling us about the battle. We got Almor Akbar manning this station. No one getting this. But we have General Gree over here telling his troops what to do before he heads into battle. Uh, here's another look at the computers up here. Let's see if I can focus. There we go. I used a lot of these. Oh crap. I used a lot of these pieces because I have a lot. This here is able to move according to how the minifig wants them. Here we have a gun rack. They're all the short guns, all the DC-15As are in use right now. Over here we have some lights and there's that. Here is a hologram table. Let's see if I can take it out and show you guys. Alright, so this is showing the battle. I said I would explain the battle when you get to this. So right here is what you can see here. Just these front two studs. As you see, there's a bunch of other stuff coming. These are like droid gunships and all those, all those fun stuff. Built very basically, I might upgrade it for my next supply base on Red Attack. So that's that. So we put that in here. And this is all nice neatly, nice, nice and neatly tiled. I like that. All right. Now this is the hard part because this part does not get removed. So down here, this is the other. This is the hanger. So we have a clone mechanic here fixing this ISP speeder, and we got. Just 341st Elite and are heading out into battle. I'll show you the door in a second. Here we got a pipe. It's, I think, I'm going to say it's a water pipe. And we got a bunch of other like wires and pipes going through here. There's the three astromech droids I was talking about. We got some containers of fuel. We have a computer here that the clone engineer is looking at to repair that. And then we got some greebling features back here. Just a bunch of tools and ladders. Alright, this door here. You take this little 1x2 that's sticking out 
and you just pull it and the door opens. And that was not supposed to happen. I will be right back when I fix that. There we go. So that's the door. Here's it from the inside view. I'm not going to open it all the way because I just realized that that brace right here that's holding it up is weak. And it will break next time. And this base is just falling apart. There we go. Alright, I'm going to put the roof back on, and then we'll go over the overview and things upcoming next real fast. So that there was the long-awaited Kashyyyk. I hope you guys liked it. Feel free to tell me some likes, dislikes down in the comment section below. I'll put the link for this trailer below, and I might, not sure, but I might do a slideshow of this. Alright, also, comment down below if you guys want me to do that. Thank you, and I hope you guys enjoyed. And I want you to have yourselves a very nice day. This is Clone Production Studios, signing off.